Hey everyone, Louis here from Xeno, and today I'm going to show you how you can connect Xeno real time with Bubble using the Xeno Connector plugin. In this video, we use a live chat feature as our example, but the setup is also perfect for notifications, real time analytics, live GPS tracking, data feeds like financial tickers or sports scores, and many other functionalities. With this integration, you enable low latency interactions and instant updates keeping your users informed without the need to refresh the page. And to start, there are three pieces of information that are very important for setting up our WebSocket connection. The first is URL to your Xeno instance. So if we go to our API section, if we hover over this part, uh, you see the URL of the API group, and that includes in this first segment, your instance URL. So that's very important for what we're gonna do. The second one you can find here in dashboard, um, if you click here the three dots and you find here under real time settings, if you, this is your first time, um, doing this, if you haven't enabled real time yet, that might take a few seconds or even a few minutes to, pr uh, provision and get this to work. But after that, you see the same settings that I have here on my screen and we need this connection hash and a channel. So I have my channels already set up, but you can create a new channel. And you can give it a name and set up uh, the permissions. We're going to talk a little bit uh, more detail in a minute. And that's it. Uh, we're done. Now we need to head over to Bubble to install the Xeno Connector plugin. You can click Add Plugins and search for Xeno Connector. Uh, you find this one, uh, which is an amazing work by one of our outstanding community members, Eli Beachy. So you can find Xeno Connector by Eli and install it. And now we need to uh, fill out the value inputs. This plugin simplifies uh, the integration between Bubble and Xeno, and it also handles authentication. So the first uh, value input that we need to uh, fill out here is this API group URL and group URL. And we can just go back to Xeno, get the API group that has the authentication endpoints. In my case here is authentication, copy. Go back to Bubble and paste these values. And now we need the real-time hash. As we've seen, uh, we can go here to real-time um, settings, copy, go back to Bubble and paste it. Now we can go to our Bubble page and we're going to add a Xeno real-time listener element to our page. And what this does is to tell Bubble which um, channel we want our application to listen to. I'm going to use a channel that I have already created called real-time. So I'm going to specify here real-time. And the message type is very important. I'm going to scroll all the way down here and choose real-time message Xeno connector. I have one already set up, so I don't need this for now. And I also added a repeating group to display our messages on the screen. And the type of content is going to be the real-time message that we just uh, used in the Xeno listener uh, element. And the data source is going to come from the Xeno real-time listener uh, element. And we're going to define messages. So um, the messages that are coming to this element. Great, so this application is already set up to listen to this channel. However, we need to join this channel first in order to be able to receive these messages. So what I'm doing here in my workflow is that when PG is loaded, I join a real-time channel. So this action is added here and we have to define the channel name, which is in my case, real-time. Now let's go ahead and test it. Here we can see that we have status connected. So let's check the developer tools of our browser to make sure that everything is good. We can click here, network and WebSocket. Let's refresh the page. And we see that we have a connection with uh, Xeno here. This is a real time hash. So we see that we have two messages. One is a request for joining a channel called real time. And the other is an actual error. And the message of the error is that anonymous clients cannot join this channel. So this channel is only accessible uh, via authentication. So we can go back to Xeno, click here real time and allow anonymous clients. If we save and go back to our tests, 
refresh the page. Let's see now. And we see that we have joined the channel. And to make sure that everything is working as expected, I created an endpoint and added a real-time event function to our function stack. And what this is doing is to sending a specific message to a specific channel. So let's go ahead and send to the real-time channel the message, hey, I'm coming from Xana. And, and we run. We see that this information is updated real time on the bubble screen without the need to refresh the page. And by adding the Xana real time listener to our bubble page, we now have a very helpful event that can be used in our logic. And this is called uh, when Xana real time listener message receives. So here we can specify actions. Uh, to be triggered every time this channel receives a new message. In my case here, I'm just displaying this toast on the screen with the action of the message being received. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So when we load the page, we have a connection status action that is displayed. So if we send here a real-time event through the Zeno platform, the action will be event. So this is triggered any time that a message is received for that specific channel. So this setup is perfect if you just want to push data to your front end because your user is not necessarily in your database. For example, if somebody is uh, visiting your website and you want to keep everything up to date without the need to refresh the page, such as sports scores or financial tickers, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, but now let's say that I don't want anonymous clients to join my real-time channel. So uh, now I want to know uh, which user is connecting to the channel. So let's go ahead and select our channel and disable anonymous clients. So now the user needs to send a valid token to be able to connect to a real-time channel. In order to get a valid token, the user needs to go through the authentication process in Bubble, whether using the plugin or not. Here in Bubble, I created a very simple login screen and I'm using the email and password inputs. For this first example, I used the a plugin to go through the authentication. So I added an element called Zeno Auth to the screen. I have already done it. And by adding this element to the screen, now you have a new action called a log designer uh, user in that you can find here under plugin plugins log designer user in and in the event that the Xeno user is logged in then go to another page called real time so let's test it to learn better what the plugin is doing behind the curtains i have the developer tools of my browser open so you can find here under application local storage and if I use my credentials to log in, we can see that we don't have much uh, here for now. But if I log in, now I have some new keys that the plugin already stored in the local storage for us. Um, that the condition that the Xeno user is logged in, more information about the user, and most importantly for us at this point is the valid token, that we have a valid token stored for us we can go back to Bubble and use an action before joining uh, the real-time channel that is called set the real-time auth token. And the auth token, I can pick from Xeno auth element auth token. Let's test. So here under network, actions, and it's joined. So now we are going to talk about a very interesting setting uh, for your real-time channel. It's called presence. You can enable presence updates for everybody that has joined the channel. Uh, for example, if a client joined the channel, he will receive a list of all the clients that have already joined the channel, as well as presence updates. So if somebody either joins or leaves the channel, everybody's notified. So let's take a look at how it works in action. 
And you can also create conditional logic to hide presence updates for certain types of users if you want to. Here in the join real time channel action, we see that we send along a JSON object with the key presence in the Boolean value of true. So if we go ahead and change this to false and go back to our example, and we no longer have presence updates for these users. Now let's learn how to send a message to the channel. If we type here new message and send, nothing happens. And why is that? Let's check the messages in the channel and we see that we have an error. And the error indicates that public messaging is disabled, so this client is not allowed to send messages to the channel. So to change this, we go back to our Xeno real-time settings, go to the channel, and here I enable client public messaging, and I will also enable authenticated only, so you have to pass a token before sending a message. Let's try it now to see how it goes. So new message. Yeah, so let's check here. And for the fact that we need to send uh, authenticated messages, there's nothing additional to do if we check here the headers. We are already passing the token to join the channel, so we don't need to pass a token once again to send the actual messages. Now let me show you how everything is set up on the bubble side. In this icon, I have an action that is called send real-time channel message. And here I specify the channel name, the one that I've been using, and the actual message. In my case here, I'm pushing the value of this input as my message and resetting everything afterwards. Another action that is very interesting to call out is called get real-time channel history. So if you want to get the history of that channel, uh, let me go back to Xeno uh, very quick. And you see that here I can specify how many messages in history I want, if I want to keep 25, 50, and so on. So let's save, go back to bubble. And if we go back here and click on this icon, I have the history of messages sent to this channel on demand. And there's another way to uh, pull the history of a specific channel uh, whenever you join them. Uh, so here I'm sending this presence. We have already talked about this before, but there's another uh, key value pair that I can send that's called history true. So if we go back to our screen and refresh, we automatically have the history of the messages sent to this channel. So this is how we can connect uh, Xeno real time with Bubble using the plugin to build a very simple chat a functionality for your application using only real time messages. But you can always combine HTTP requests, uh, WebSocket connection, and nested channels to build something more advanced, like a complete chat application, which is the subject of one of our next videos. So if you have any questions, leave it here in the comments below. Uh, for more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about our platform, you can refer to our documentation or visit our awesome community.